Hello and welcome to the latest outside and active adventure. I am currently in Glasgow and it is the night before I'm taking on my very first ultra marathon, the Glasgow to Edinburgh 50 mile event. The event is run by GB Ultras and it is 56 miles long. Like I said, I've never done an ultra marathon before, so it's slightly nervous, slightly exciting, but looking forward to get going. We are starting at 6 a.m. tomorrow in Glasgow and then we will run all the way to Edinburgh. Let's give you a little run through about what I'm gonna be having, some of the nutrition, and some of the kit that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. Okay, so this is everything that I'm going to be wearing slash carrying tomorrow. So let's start with the ultimate direction. Running vest, also with the two uh, water bottles that hold 500 mil each. So I'll make sure that these are filled, obviously, with water at all of the aid stations. Move across, we have a Montane jacket. Moving then to my Brooks uh, trainers that I have used a lot. Have the GB Ultras hat. Uh, a first aid bag that has kind of a emergency blanket. We have paracetamol and ibuprofen, salt tablets, friction cream as well, um, blister prevention tablets and KT tape just in case. We have my undertop, which is going to be kept separate. I'm not going to be wearing that to begin with. A reusable cup at all the aid stations that will not have plastic cups. So well done GB Ultra to that. So here is a kind of foldable cup, which I can use for water and cola and things like that. I have my Aftershocks headphones. These are just the best i love these headlamps will be used to begin with i've got one main one and a spare one both charged up ready to go i'll be putting my phone in this ziploc bag just in case it rains i have some food and snacks here to take with me in the bag my breakfast for the morning tomorrow i'll be wearing a polar vantage watch looking forward to using that with the route all loaded in ready to go and then the kit that i will be wearing um, we have some caramel running shorts running leggings pants monkey socks a montane long sleeve top and an under armor running under top this is everything that i'm going to be carrying or wearing so let's get it packed in there all that's left to do is to do some stretching eat some food make sure i'm rested and get to sleep see you in the morning okay so it's 4 a.m in the morning starting to get some of the gear on and i have my two porridge cups ready some water and some coffee ready to go after that it's time to pack the rest of my stuff get the rest of my clothes on and head to the start line okay we are in the riverside museum it's about half an hour until we start we've got our race numbers we've got our trackers thoughts trackers <laughs> Thoughts, uh, feelings? I feel pretty good. How yeah. are you feeling? I'm feeling excited, nervous. It's my first one, it's not your first one. It's weird, isn't it, this bit? It's just like waiting around. But uh, yeah, we've only got half an hour to wait and then we're going to get going. And we're in a nice warm museum of sorts, so there are worse places to wait. We're just a few minutes away from the start, so we'll catch up at the first checkpoint. So we are about eight miles in 8 .1. to our 56 miles of the Glasgow to Edinburgh. It's just turned light. We're running next to kind of a canal. So it's quite nice and flat. The terrain's quite good and lots of nice, nice sights of the, the light bouncing off the water. It's quite serene. Everyone's kind of started to spread out now in terms of the pack. It's gone through the first aid station. Um, good on water, good on salt tablets. Great on banter. <laughs> Lots of talking. So yeah, yeah, we're just having a little uh, little walk now just to stretch out the legs and then we'll be back on the grind. Lovely spread that we've got here. We are about 15 miles in. We've got a little bit of a gap. There's a bit of a space behind, a bit of a space in front. So just stretching our legs a little bit. One thing that I didn't mention before is that it's a bit nippy here in Glasgow on the way to Edinburgh about 10, 13 degrees, a little bit of a wind. So I've got my e-gloves, which let me use my phone and obviously keep me warm. And uh, Mike- I, I left mine at home and uh, Dom has been not rubbing it in at all. <laughs> amateur, uh, amateur. So about another mile until the next aid station. And then there's a, there's a, a 10, 13 mile gap between the one after that. So that'll be a bit of a slog, but spirits are high. So we're about 24, 25 miles in, and we've come across a very nice landmark next to our checkpoint. 
take on some fluids, some food, and we're back out again. It seems like every time I check in, we're, we're, we're walking. But yeah. I promise we are also running, uh, <laughs> but it's just harder to film. We are now 26.2 miles in, so we're a marathon in. Just had the checkpoint, which you saw. Uh, there's another checkpoint at 30. The views have been amazing. We had a little bit of a drizzle, and now it's bright sunshine, but I think we had a little bit of a, a quiet stint going into that checkpoint, but I think we're back on. Yeah, you, you didn't talk for a little while, which was, to be honest, brilliant. Uh... <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're back on some positive vibes. We've had food, had some food, rolling. some paracetamol, some water. Loving it. Almost at halfway, 1.8 miles to halfway. A little bit of rocky terrain, but these views are incredible. Joining us at 29-ish miles. 29.3. 29.3, which means we are over the bridge. We are over halfway. Everything we do now is getting closer towards Edinburgh than it is further away from Glasgow. We have a checkpoint at about 30 miles, and we're gonna stop back up and go again. Thoughts and feelings? Feeling good. Starting to get a bit um, tired now, sort of almost yeah. at 30. But um, this is what happens now, isn't it? You just go in like little waves. So we had like a real up at the last checkpoint and then yeah. last mile's been hard. Next few miles will be good. Let's rock it. I was struggling from about 22 to 26. I had to kind of dig in a little bit, but coming out the other side a little bit now, just pushing, both pushing through. Basically you're saying now I feel great. <laughs> just dragging Mike along. Like it's We've switched, <laughs> we've switched, but still going strong. There's an incredible selection of food and drink, cheese. Okay, we haven't checked in for a while. We had a basically a half marathon stretch between checkpoint six and checkpoint seven. Thank you, GB Ultras. <laughs> um, but Mike had a nice little resurgence. You yeah. felt good? I, I did not. <laughs> I felt crap. But um, we got to the aid station, refueled, food, water, a little bit of a stretch, and it's just a nice like tick off to go, 49 miles. Seven to go, just gotta get it done. I tell you what, if there's something you don't want after 56 miles of running, walking, movement, it's these bloody stairs. Almost home. We are on the racetrack that I've been thinking about since about mile 10. 400 meters around a racetrack, no better way to finish the GB Ultra G2E. Well, we have finally finished. <laughs> we have our medals. Boom. And uh, it was amazing coming around the track for the last 400 meters. And now we get to watch the runners that are coming in whilst we wait for our taxi. Overall experiences. I thought it was wicked. It was it wicked. Was like, it was really good, really well organised race, uh, very flat and fast, but yeah, it was tough. It was a bit longer than we were expecting. Yeah, I think the, uh, I mean, it was organised very well. The people that were at all of the aid stations aid were station. extremely With helpful. Running, they yeah. were like grabbing your water and, and, and taking it, filling it up before you had a chance to, to say thank you. Um, great experience. Now is the time to grab a beer, a pizza. Pizza, pizza and beer. And sleep. Ah. <laughs> So that was my first ever ultra marathon. Firstly, a massive thank you to GB Ultras for putting on the Glasgow to Edinburgh event. All of the volunteers, all of the staff that helped were extremely helpful and it helped make the experience even better. After Mike and I finished, we clapped a few of the runners that finished just after us and then we headed back to our hotels. We were planning on going for a beer and something to eat, but ended up just being too tired to. So we ordered food to our hotel rooms and crashed out. How did I feel after the race? Well, the next day I woke up at like seven 7 a.m. in the morning and stood up and I could not move. I could not walk. I had problems with my Achilles, my knees, the top of my feet, so that walking through Edinburgh the next day was incredibly challenging and painful. It being my first ultra, I've never run that far. I've only ever 
gone 26.2 miles before that. So every step after that was something completely different and I was effectively doubling or over doubling my distance in 12 hours. What did I learn? Well, I learned that I should definitely train better. I probably put in two weeks of 40 and then 45 mile weeks, three weeks before the event, not much beforehand and probably didn't train enough at race pace as well. But I did do a few things well and it does help having someone with me that has done ultra marathons of that distance and longer beforehand. So having Mike there to keep me going effectively to try and not use the walks as a break, to try and use the walks to keep the pace up and walking quickly was very helpful. And it being my first ultra marathon and it being 57 miles, I was quite happy to finish it in just over 12 hours. The best part of my first ultra marathon was probably finishing but also meeting a lot of the awesome runners along the way you kind of yo-yo with lots of people depending on how you're pacing you're running so meeting lots of awesome runners and yeah seeing the sights of Glasgow to Edinburgh the hardest part was undoubtedly the checkpoint between 36 miles and 49 miles which is effectively a half marathon so we actually took that time to yo-yo in front of each other and put headphones in and listen to music at that time uh, just to kind of pull us through because that was difficult and a final thank you to GB Ultras if you want to take on this race it is called the G2E Ultra Marathon I believe registrations are open now so you can give it a go this has been Dom from Outside and Active and until next time enjoy the outdoors